what's the right place to keep your ketchup? The pantry or the refrigerator? America's not the best country on earth anymore. <laughs> the, the, fucking, the fucking fabric of, of, our, of our nation is eroding. Larry the Cable Guy fucking destroy, erasing Christmas off the calendar. And this fucking person even considering putting it in the pantry. Okay, wait, hold on. I just wanted, for those of you not well-versed in Jingle All the Way too, it is Jingle All the Way, except they've swapped out <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger and and Sinbad for two other people. Trying to find a gift. It's all sold out. Uh, yeah. He wants to find it. He's yeah. on an adventure to find it. You're not calling me down. I it's need two I, dads <laughs> in a no-holds-barred battle to be the best father and make this the best Christmas ever. Just, because- I, need you to, I need you to make some ocean sounds for me or something. <laughs> Ah, that's nice. Uh, do you want me to talk to you in the ASMR? Yeah. No, oh, nobody wants see. that ever again, actually, after last week. Um, where, are, where is Phil? Cole? Finish the question, please. I'm dying. What are your mom going to wear in hockey pants? Uh, that is pretty much the... I mean, like, you get it, just, but, like, his wife says helps it stay fresh longer. In the uh, fridge. In the fridge, but he's once in the pantry because, wow, I don't want cold ketchup on my hot food. It's called Contrast. Look up, you fucking It's Neanderthal. wonderful. It's the best. <laughs> ketchup isn't cold at restaurants. Why would I keep it cold at home? Yeah, everything at restaurants is fucking gross. Everything they have there for public like sharing and consumption. If you see butter, open butter on a tray and you or a dish and you think like, ooh, they have exposed butter on a dish, that must mean this is a fancy restaurant. No, that means that's dirty butter. That means that's dirty two-year-old old butter. dusty butter. Don't use that. You can use salt, I guess. Oh, hey, I'm dusty butter. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my roundup. Wanna um, sing a few songs, maybe have a few old good old gospel tunes, and you're gonna meet my whole family. Here's my little brother, <laughs> Disty Butters, and he's on the banjo. Take it away, Disty. Was it Disty? <laughs> Disty. Just remember, here at Dusty Butters, the butter's been on the table since 1958. I Actually, just... my grandpa did it. Rather than, other than a, a, a few unpleasant races and outbursts, he's still my hero. And you can throw the butter right on the floor. <laughs> butter on the floor. <laughs> Dusty Butters. Don't let grandma slip. You'll want, she'll want to stick around for the peanut butter roundup. <laughs> That's a dessert. Oh, that God. also is served on the floor. <laughs> Here's the thing: that the restaurant's going to go through a bottle of ketchup a lot faster, right. Than you will, um, especially if so, I roll around because I'll I turn that shit into dunkables. Yeah, I I I would love to see a scientific survey on the extent to which people will demolish a restaurant ketchup bottle, like just completely bathing their dish in ketchup versus at home when you're like, I don't know, when no, I don't yeah, need that like, much. Right. I, I buy one of those giant Heinzers from the Costco, and I use it at a, a, a pace that is so slow that I could collect enough of that ketchup skin from the top of the bottle to form a child. I take this conundrum one step farther. And you know those things that say uh, how basically like every jar of everything says refrigerate after opening? I do not understand why you wouldn't just refrigerate it to begin with so that the first time you use it, it is also cold. Like, if you don't I, refrigerate it till the first time you use it, it means the first time you use it, it's bad. So I'm weird about this. I will keep ketchup and mustard uh, in the fridge, but, like, hot sauce, uh, like a buffalo sauce or, uh, like, a hot sauce, I'll keep in the pantry, except for sriracha, which I keep in the refrigerator. I'm just making it up. We're all I? playing Calvin Ball with our fucking dippers, but, aren't we? No, I could justify that, Justin. Do you want to hear my theory on why you do that? Go. The mustard and the ketchup and the sriracha, they're all for dipping and topping. The hot sauce is for mixing into sauce that you put onto food and therefore bake it so it doesn't matter if it's cold. That's not true. I use buffalo sauce for Well, then human. fuck. I don't know what you want me to do here, Justin. I'm trying to justify your weird behavior. Just put everything in the fridge. Just you, you 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 spend a lot of money on that refrigerator. People spend a lot of time inventing it, and it was designed to keep shit fresh. You know, Teresa and I, in moving to L.A., we took like a, a refrigerator sound, uh, size downgrade, and now we have to like it's a very like Sophie's Choice, like what goes in the fridge. And it's not at all like Sophie's Choice. Well, I did just lose a full jar of pickles the other day because it got pushed off the top shelf by some leftovers. It made me real sad, and it took forty five. But that made quite up. a mess. We were in quite a mess. Quite a pickle. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Are, are you also are you also writing jingle all the way too? <laughs> I am. They gave me a good deal. 
You <laughs> son of a bitch. Do you guys want a Yahoo? That, that, hold on, wait, that joke wasn't kosher. Now do you guys want a Yahoo? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes, please. Um, Let me relish this for one second. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. This Yahoo was sent guys, in. Guys, this is going to be a Vlasic episode. I can oh, already tell. Shit. <laughs>